Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review the latest Kaleidoscope ROM. Yes, that is right. Um, the ROM has been compiled by our friend Ayan. He did an amazing job in compiling such a beautiful ROM for our used devices. And uh, further to speak, I mean, more to speak about Kaleidoscope, I am not sure um, what Kaleidoscope is on and about, but as far as I have heard, it's a privacy oriented ROM. So let's uh, dig into the um, more features and more reviews about the ROM. Okay, as you can see, the Android version is 12 and the Kaleidoscope version is Sunflower. The uh, security patch is 5th of February 2022 and I'm using the kernel version 4.19.227 Fury Prof. So um, this is a kernel which I'm using always with most of the um, most of the ROMs for Poco M3 Citrus. So um, basically, as you can see from the uh, desktop itself, Kaleidoscope is a simple um, simple ROM. So you cannot expect quite a lot of customization. As you can see in home screen setup, in the launcher setup, even um, minimal customization or no customization is being given. I'm not complaining about the lack of customization, but the ROM is super stable. This is something I just want to highlight. And if you look at the keep settings, you can see there is a dual tone kind of um, kind of color setup or user interface setup for the quick settings. So as you can see, the quick settings pull down and stuff like that is quite smooth. So there is nothing to worry about. There isn't any lag. Now, as I've told you, the ROM is of privacy oriented. The ROM comes with default Chromium uh, browser and the rest is um, same like any one la version. Now the ROM is GApps. ROM includes GApps which means Play Store is already included in the ROM and you don't have to flash extra. Now the uh, dialer comes like this. It's a vanilla dialer and uh, it's very simple and stuff like that. So let's have a look if the uh, dialer is having call recording function. No, the dial dialer doesn't support the default call recording function and even the um, messages app it is still again the uh, vanilla messages of app. Now while going to the settings you cannot expect any sort of customization. Only thing what you can expect is go to apps and you can see there is a toggle button to enable the Google services. So if you don't want to have Google services, you can enable it and disable it at any time. So basically what really happens is once you disable the GMS services or Google um, services, sometimes some applications are using um, GMS as some kind of supporting or something like that. So those apps will have issue with running. So this is something that happens if you disable the GMS. Now going to the battery, even you cannot get, um, you don't have any customization for the battery, but go to display and you will see some uh, customizations like star test bar icon tuner, clock position, uh, clock AM or PM style, clock settings, uh, seconds if you want to display the seconds and battery status style so this is something that is available to you now coming to the security you will get the pin unlock there isn't any quick unlock for the pin and the fingerprint there isn't any face unlock yet and going to system to the gestures you will have some more um some more customization like swipe to screenshot and stuff like that all the basic gesture um settings so this is something that is available with the uh, row. Now coming to wallpaper and style, you don't get any themed app icons, you just get the um, option to enable dark theme and customize the app grid. So this is the basic thing about the ROM and this is my review about the ROM. There isn't any customization but the ROM is minimal, uh, the ROM is secure and the ROM is very smooth too. What are my verdicts? Well, my verdicts is if you want to use a privacy oriented ROM, definitely you can use Kaleidoscope and you can enjoy its smoothness and stability. Once again, I would like to thank you for um, watching the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any further updates. Thank you.